Here we are on the 19th floor of a luxury condominium in downtown. Uh, we're going to get ready to do a bed bug treatment preparation. And what that is, is preparing the apartment so when the exterminator comes in, everything is done. We're very discreet. We wear no uniforms because bed bugs have a tendency of freaking people out. So what we try to do is just be as casual and nonchalant as possible. We're heading over to the apartment, walk in as if we were just visiting, and none's the wiser. But when we get inside, it's a battlefield. And I'll show you what I mean. This is a really nice building, okay? So um, everybody's prone. Bed bugs do not discriminate. They have, they don't care about your social economic level. They don't care about your skin color. They don't care about your ethnicity. Equal opportunity bugs, exactly. So first thing we do is we have to assess the situation and we notice if you can come in, this bed is totally infested with bugs and there are live bugs running around the bed here on the corners. You can tell by the black spots that they have been feeding quite regularly. And when the mattress is this badly infested, it's recommended that the mattress also be discarded and we're gonna get this environment here uh, cleaned up and prepped for the exterminator to come in and do his job. So everything needs to be moved away at least three feet from the wall. All the outlet covers have to be removed because this is a harborage point for the bed bugs. The bed would have to be completely dismantled and the infected mattress will have to be wrapped so that it can be moved out of the apartment and not spread any additional bed bugs on the way out. I realize that the infestation is pretty bad, so we're gonna to have to take some extra precautions that we normally wouldn't take, and that would involve putting on Tyvek suits, putting on uh, foot protection, gloves, and taking every necessary precaution because it's quite bad in there. What's good about these white suits is that anything that gets on you, they're very, it's very easy to spot. Bed bugs don't have the ability to jump like fleas. They pretty much have to climb on you and they have to have a rough surface in order to get up on you. So we're pretty safe with this amount of uh, gear on. We bring it along a bottle of alcohol, which kills on contact, just dries them up. So what we wanna do is before we wrap this mattress up is spray it down with alcohol, these are the things that you wanna look for. You wanna pull the sheets back from your mattress and you wanna check along the tufts, all right? Every crease, every fold, and what you're looking for is these marks right here. They look like almost little ink marks, as if I was to take a pen or a felt tip pen and just make little dots all over the place, you'll see that. When you see a high concentration of them, like you see over here, is normally where there's a lot of activity and right below it, you'll find the bug as we found here. It's always best to call a pest control professional. However, if you see it where it's gotten to this point and there's multiple markings all over the mattress, different locations, the situation has already gotten out of control and we highly recommend that you get rid of the mattress. The mattress itself usually doesn't have as much activity as a box spring. The reason being that generally you change the sheets on a mattress daily, regularly at best, okay? And the box spring usually stays in one place for a very long time. So the bed bugs have a tendency of finding their way into the box spring and setting up shop there. Bed bugs find you by the carbon dioxide that you breathe out when you, that you exhale out when you breathe. So generally, they have a tendency of populating within a 10 to 15 foot radius of your head. It's very typical to find a greater amount of bed bugs near the headboard than it is near the foot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink wrap this mattress so that when the maintenance people come to discard the mattress, they don't drag this in through the hallway and have these little strays 
fall off and further infest the building. This is the box spring. Again, this is the area that least moves, all right? So that's several months worth of, of egg development and bed bug infestation spreading. Normally, you would, if it's in a light infestation, you can take this, uh, this bedding and you can put it in the dryer and let it sit in the heat for about 20 or 30 minutes and uh, it'll kill whatever uh, might be in there. So what we're, what we're recommending, again here, just so that you know, I'm not kidding you, all right? This is, this is, the, this is the pillow. All right, so now I open up this pillow and they're gonna be all inside here. I gotta get this one, this is a juicy Wait. one. You have to have some pretty thick, pretty thick skin to do this job. This job is not for everybody. Especially if you're easily grossed out. Now we come to the fun part. I'm gonna turn over this mattress and we're gonna go to what is the epicenter of this problem. Okay, you have your great big fat juicy adult. You have eggs by the hundreds, maybe thousands in different areas. And you see, as soon as I touch, they go running. So they're live, they're healthy, they're well fed. And if you look in the bottom here, you can see how bad this mattress is, you know. We're basically going to try, try to vacuum up as many bugs as we can. Again, these bags are used once and then thrown away because these bugs will climb out and, uh, and reinfest the location. This is going to get rid of a good 60-70% of live bugs. Just what we're doing now. Okay, what I got Jimmy doing is putting alcohol on everything and wiping everything down. Um, the purpose of that is to catch and kill any eggs or any, yeah, or any, or you see them in there, right? Yeah, yeah any eggs or any nymphs or anything that's, you know, that we miss because since it's dark, uh, it's very easy to miss one or two bugs. We also provide steam cleaning services for a, uh, for these rugs uh, because sometimes that's what you have to do to get rid of the stuff that's embedded in the carpet. And this is how sometimes they can travel from one room to the next. Come on up, there you go. You see it? Yeah. Got it? Again, I haven't used a drop of chemical yet. Mm -hmm. And I got rid of 90% of the problem without one drop of chemical. Metal is not their favorite place to hide. So when you do consider getting a bed, Try to stay away from wood if you can. It's best to deal with the problem where it's at as soon as you know that you have a problem. Don't wait. Okay, this is the second room of a two bedroom apartment, the second bedroom. Um, as you've seen from the footage before, that other room was badly infested. The mattress was a mess. There was bugs crawling on the walls, out of the outlets, on the furniture, in the bed frame, everywhere. This room, it's not as bad. My inspection of this mattress, I observed that there's no markings, no droppings of any sort. So I'm gonna recommend to the customer that they take this mattress and they wrap it in uh, an encasement and they keep it. That's $500 that they're saving as opposed to throwing it out just because the other room is infested. I'm gonna clear this box spring as well and recommend that they put a cover and that they do not, that they do not discard this uh, box spring. Again, saving them an additional three or $400. Bed bugs find you by your breath. They are attracted to the carbon dioxide that you breathe just like mosquitoes are. So it doesn't matter where in the apartment you go, eventually they're gonna find you. So if you move from the bedroom A to bedroom B, guess what? They move from bedroom A to bedroom B, eventually infesting bedroom B. What they did apparently is the occupants of this unit 
were getting bit in the bedroom. And so what they did is they moved from the bedroom over here and they actually brought the problem with them over here. Number one, they bought an infected pillow, right? Number two, they probably bought an infected blanket. And so they exasperated the problem by doing that. So now we have to treat these couches. Um, it's always recommended that you vacuum on a regular basis because you pick up a lot of strays as you vacuum and that one stray may be the one stray that will cause the next big infestation. All right, once we vacuumed all the, uh, the cracks and crevices and everything, we want to pass the steamer over to ensure that there are no live eggs that we may have missed with the vacuum. Like I said before, insects uh, and eggs will pretty much disintegrate at 120 degrees. This steam produces heat in excess of 170 degrees to about 212. Water actually converts to steam at 212 degrees, and that's enough heat to kill any egg and any insect that's left behind. Kitchen area. In the kitchen, normally you don't find bed bugs. You know, they're not like cockroaches where they'll come into the, co into the cabinets, into the refrigerators or ovens. This is not their domain at all. Uh, we're going to do in this particular kitchen, just as a precaution, is just vacuum up along the floors and the cracks and crevices just to make sure that there's nothing uh, laying around and that maybe one of the bugs may have just migrated over here just to get away from all the activity that was going on back there with us cleaning. And we're going to do the same thing with the dining room area, which again is not a place where you normally find them, but we're going to vacuum along here and we're going to finish vacuuming the uh, the living room and we should be good to go. Okay, we've left behind two mattress encasement sets. Um, the reason we encourage using the sets is because as you've seen from the footage before, the pillows get badly infested also. And although the pillows are not that, ex that much of an expense, you still want to try to protect them. So here we have two uh, mattress covers with bug lock, two box spring encasements with bug locks, and two sets of mattress of uh, pillow uh, encasements. This is probably your first line of defense between your bed bugs and your mattress. You have this on your mattress, you have a better chance of protecting that investment, which can be pretty costly. So even if you don't have bed bugs, this is probably a good investment just to protect your mattress overall and extend the life of it. And uh, so it's very important that you have a bed bug proof mattress encasement as opposed to your plain vinyl one that has the open zippers where they can get in and out. Every case is different. If there was a bunch of picture frames around, we would have to take all the picture frames down, spray and wipe all the picture frames because as you see, they climb up the walls. So they would get into the picture frames, all right? So this is actually not your typical treatment preparation. This is, and in, in all, it took us over four hours to do this. And this was with no books, no clothes, no picture frames, okay? So it's extensive preparation. The more personal belongings that you have, the more difficult it is for the exterminator to have a successful treatment and the more you have to prepare. So we finished preparing the apartment for the bed bug treatment, which will take place tomorrow, Monday. Um, we've removed all the outlet covers. We've placed them here, we've treated them. We wiped everything down, including the telephones, with alcohol. We vacuumed all the rugs and picked up any stray bugs that were laying around. We removed all the cables. We took all the furniture and we pushed it all towards the middle. Everything has been wiped down with alcohol and sprayed, all the drawers have been removed. The two mattresses that are really infested have been shrink wrapped and ready for removal by others. The bed frame has been dismantled, cleaned and wiped with alcohol 
and moved away from the wall. We went into the closet, we took the dresser that was there and we took that apart, put the drawers out so that the exterminator now can come in and he can successfully treat without any obstacles in his way. And if you walk over this way, you'll see the bags of linen that are gonna be discarded only because they're just so badly infested it's not really worth cleaning. Uh, but in most cases, we will clean it. This particular case, we won't. In the living room, we vacuumed and steamed all the furniture. We pulled everything in towards the middle, vacuumed the floors, and have everything accessible for the exterminator to do his thing. And that's what we do. Scratch and sniff canine bed bug detection, treatment, preparation, service. My name is Molly Ramos. Thank you for coming along.